In this video, I'm gonna be explaining lead scoring inside of your Zoho CRM system. I'll be explaining what it is, why it is so unbelievably powerful, and how to set it up in your Zoho CRM system. Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Just before we get into the video, if you do need any help with Zoho CRM, please check out my website below. We provide a range of Zoho CRM services. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once you log into your Zoho CRM system, of course, you'll come to the home screen. Now, I firstly in this video want to actually introduce you to the idea of lead scoring or record scoring. So when used correctly, it's an unbelievably powerful tool. And what it allows you to do is score certain leads based on certain metrics. Now you may be wondering why exactly would that be useful? So let me explain. What this would allow you to do is look at your leads and look at the leads that are of most value to your business or turn into the most value to your business. And that could be based on a number of different metrics, including their lead source, size of the company, the type of industry that they work in, it could be a whole host of different things. You will have to do the background and spend the time to work out which leads are of most value. But once you've done so, you can then go ahead and start setting up scoring rules inside of your Zoho CRM system that allows the system to automatically score or essentially rate the quality of a lead based on certain metrics. So you can then go ahead and target leads that are of the most value to your business, therefore increasing your chances of making more money, um, obviously more profit, higher revenue, uh, lower costs, because you are targeting exactly the sort of person or I suppose avatar that you need to be targeting to make the most money. So the scoring rules allows you to facilitate that inside of Zoho CRM, it allows you to rate your customers um, and target only the absolute best leads. So hopefully that introduction has made sense. Essentially, like I said, it's evaluating which leads are of the most value to your business and then telling Zoho CRM about those particular metrics that make a difference and allowing those metrics to be scored or rated. So if you go to the cog in the top right hand corner here, and then what we wanna do is we wanna to go to automation down the bottom left hand corner and then over to scoring rules. This is where we can create rules for scoring and we can do this across accounts, deals, contacts and leads. I think primarily I'd focus on leads, maybe deals a little bit. I don't think accounts and contacts would be as applicable. You can do, but it's entirely up to you. If you press new scoring rule, we firstly need to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this leads as a leads example. If I can spell correctly, there we go. And then if we go ahead and select the module, which is of course going to be leads, the layout, I'll just put all layouts. And then we can add a description if we would like to. So once you are happy, press the next button. This is where we can go ahead and add criteria. So essentially what that is saying or what we are going to tell Zoho CRM is if um, field equals this, then add or subtract 10 points. And as you can see, we've also got that for email insights. So for every email opened, add 10 points. For every email clicked, add 20 points. For every email bounced, minus 20 points. I don't know, it could be anything. And this is how you can kind of start working out how you want to distribute the scoring inside of your Zoho CRM system, but obviously you're gonna to need to know what drives value to your business or which leads hold the most value to your business. So if we go to the leads area and then leads fields, just go to add criteria. Let's say, for example, so if the city is London, let's add 10 points. And the reason we'd wanna do this is maybe we've looked at our business, looked at all of our leads, looked at all of our closed sales and gone, it seems that a lot of the time, we the, the leads of the most value are based in London. So we would add 10 points. So you go ahead and press the done button. And then we could add more criteria. So if we press add criteria, let's say lead source is equal to, and maybe we've looked at our lead sources and we've gone every time we get a an, an external referral, it always is really, really valuable to us. So if lead source is external referral, then we will add again 10 points. You could change this to five points, one point, it's entirely up to you. But let's say you've noticed that external referrals have become the most valuable source of leads for you. So you obviously wanna score this particular lead higher if the lead source is an external referral. So you press the done button. 
Again, on the other hand, you could say, okay, if our lead source, just as an example, you could use any field. If our lead source is equal to cold call, for example, we know that this is often a poor quality lead or not as good. So maybe we'll subtract 10 points. So, or maybe we'll just say five points. So minus five points if the lead source is equal to a cold call. You could add additional criteria as well. And this is where you start getting very clever is you could create an and or criteria basis. So if lead source is cold call and city is uh, let's say Edinburgh, for example, then minus 10 points. Or you could say if lead source is cold call or Edinburgh, uh, city is Edinburgh, then subtract five points. So you can start getting very, very clever with it and obviously start rating your leads, make it quite complicated. And this needs to be complicated because the more you understand who your best, um, who, who your best customers are, the more you're able to target them and consequently make more money without having to deal with customers that can be difficult, um, hard work, and they don't actually result in much profit or they just take up a lot of your time. So the more you can work out who is of most value to you, the more you can manage that inside of your Zoho CRM system and obviously look to target them. So at the moment, we've got the leads example uh, scoring. We've got city is London, we add 10 points. If lead source is external referral, we add 10 points. If lead source is cold call, we subtract five points. Like I said, we can turn the email insights on if we would like to. So for every email open, let's add two points. Um, for every email click, so that's, let's say that's seven points because that's a big deal. And then for every email bounced, let's lose five points. And then we can obviously add or subtract. We just use a drop down menu to change that as we so wish. So once you are happy, just press the save button. As you can see here, we are asked if we would like to update old records. So we can choose to update old records or continue without updating. So that just means any new records added will be scored. Any old ones, the scoring rules will not actually apply. So I'm going to go ahead and press update old records as well. This may take a moment. You'll be notified down the bottom right hand corner once this has been completed. So you can see here we've got score factors configured R6. This applies to all layouts and we can go ahead and turn our scoring on or off if we would like to. We can just press the three dotted button, clone it and delete it. And we can also click into it and add additional criteria or change the scoring rules if we would like to. So once you have scored or created the scoring, and as you can see, our scoring rules have been updated for our four leads. Let's head over to our leads area. We'll go on to any lead. So let's use our friend James as an example. All we need to do is just scroll down and then we should be able to see our scoring rules. And then we can see leads example. So this is the particular rule that we just created. Positive, negative, positive touch points, negative touch points, total touch points. That means that we have got a score of minus five. What we can also start doing is if we go to the back, we can create a view that shows us our leads scoring the highest to the lowest. And as we build this out, we can understand obviously more about our customers and target them better, target the ones that we absolutely want to be targeting. So I'm hoping this video has been of use to you. One, just before I end the video, if we go back to the cog in the top left hand corner and go to scoring rules again under automation, like I said, you can do this for other modules. So if we press a new scoring rule, just go accounts as an example, and then just select the module accounts. And then you again, just select whichever layout you'd like to apply this to. And then you can work through the criteria. So you can add criteria for your account. So you can evaluate which ones are better and obviously which ones are worse. So maybe you're doing upsells or cross sells and you can work out. So you could create a cross sell scoring rule for a particular product and you can work out which um, accounts that particular product would be most suitable for based on their criteria. So I'm hoping this is making a lot of sense and this is something that you can apply to your business that is going to make a huge, huge difference because when done correctly, when you understand who is of most value, who is of least value, um, you can really start targeting them um, and obviously that is going to make a massive difference to your profit uh, and your revenue as well. So I'll click out of that. I'm not going to go into any further detail. Hopefully this video has been of value and I will see you in a moment's time.
Hopefully you are now all set to start using lead scoring inside of your Zoho CRM system. You understand why it can make a huge difference to your business and how to do it inside of your Zoho CRM system as well. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you've got any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to drop a comment below or you could email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.